TMF has the capacity to work with and really impact churches and their ability to, to live out their mission in a way that nobody else does. So our mission at TMF is to empower the church in its God-appointed mission. So what we're saying when we say that is that we believe in the church, that the church is the chosen instrument by which God intends to bring about a better world. And so we're going all in. We're putting all our chips in, if you will, to strengthen the church and to help it be about what God is doing in the world. We're committed to strengthening leaders for the church of today. Leaders who have that deep spiritual courage to take risks for the sake of the mission of the church, as opposed to minimizing risks for the sake of the institution of the church and preserving that institution. In order to bring about deep change and more courageous leaders, there are three ways that TMF's leadership ministry works. The first way is through learning communities. And these are small groups where we gather leaders um, who are in positions, we believe, to leverage deep change. And so we give them the space, safe space, some even call it brave space, in order for them to be able to wrestle with some of the most difficult adaptive issues in the church today. It gives them a space to strengthen their own ministries through peer learning, to be challenged, to challenge one another, and, and really to strengthen their own spiritual courage so that they can lead in this culture of change. The second way is through learning projects. And learning projects gives us really an opportunity to dig deeper into those difficult issues. So perhaps it's running an experiment in an annual conference or a congregation. Um, it encourages innovation. Sometimes we are gathering folks who are wrestling with those issues on the ground, and we're gathering them for conversation so that they can dig deeper into that issue and share their learnings with others. So the third way is, is the way that we work directly with congregations to bring about a culture of purpose and generosity. Now, when we say a culture of purpose, we're talking about one in which there is a consistent spirit of listening to where God is leading. So that means asking the question, what do you want to do through us? And what's the difference you want to make through us? It's a consistent listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit. And then a culture of generosity goes right along with it because a culture of generosity is one in which we respond to God's call with a deep commitment of our whole selves, prayers, presence, gifts, service, and witness so that all that we do is an expression of our yes to God.